Good afternoon, my friends. This is Brother Al Johnson, according to the Word of God.org. I have an urgent prayer request for a friend of mine. His name is Ryan. He, um, he has a drug problem, and he overdosed, and um, he was doing so very well. We need to pray for him and pray for his family. And uh, Ryan, we love you. In the sweet name of Jesus, we come to you, Lord, asking you to watch over Ryan and all people like him, Lord, that have this addiction to, uh, to drugs. Some have an addiction to alcohol, some to gambling, and oh, it just goes on and on, Lord. Just uh, please be with the people that have these addictions and heal them, Lord, and make them well. For it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. We've been doing some segments on favorite scripture, and 2 Chronicles 7.14 is a favorite scripture for many people. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sin, and I will heal their land. What a fantastic verse of scripture. It is what I call a conditional verse of scripture. It starts off with the word if. That little teeny word I preached a, uh, a video on not too long ago, hmm, it has a big punch, a lot of power, and uh, we need to know and understand it. If my people, well, who are God's people? In the Old Testament, Israel. In the New Testament, born-again Christians. Pretty simple. They are his people. If my people, God says, will humble themselves. What does that mean to humble yourself? That means to not bring attention to yourself, but bring attention to Jesus Christ. To not be proud, to not be haughty, to not be, look at me, look at what I've done. Look at who I am. Look at how pretty I am. Look at how handsome I am. No, no, God doesn't go for that. He doesn't go for that at all. He wants you to be humble. If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves, and then they need to pray. And what do we pray about when we pray? We pray to Almighty God through the name of Jesus that he will help us. We can thank him for food and water, for air we breathe, for Jesus. Oh, yes. We can thank him for our families, our friends. My little granddaughter, Isabel, has accepted Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. And her daddy, my son, Scott, is going to baptize her on the 25th of August. Not too far from now. What a wonderful rejoicing thing that is for the family. So we have this tremendous verse. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face in your prayer to earnestly seek God's help, to seek his face, to seek his wonderful touch. If you do that, he's going to answer it. And then he's going to ask you to turn from your wicked ways. We all have some wicked ways. When I was a youngster, I used to use bad language. That was a wicked way. When I was a youngster, I used to, every once in a while, I would take something that didn't belong to me. That's called stealing. Forgive me, Lord. I did that. 
and, and a lot of other things too. Turn from your wicked ways. When you do that, when you humble yourself, when you pray, when you seek God's face, and when you turn from your wicked ways, what's God going to do? The conditional aspect, what's he going to do? Then I will hear from heaven, and I will forgive your sin, and I will heal your land. God doesn't ask you to do these things unless he is going to reward you for being obedient. When you're obedient to him, he loves that. This is a simple verse of scripture. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, I will forgive their sin, and I'll heal their land. Let God help you. He loves you. He wants to help you. Let him. Please, let him. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this little video on favorite scriptures. Second Chronicles 714, Lord. Powerhouse. It's a powerhouse scripture, and we thank you for it. And we pray in Jesus' name and for his sake. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow, Lord willing. Bye-bye.